one thing that drives me nuts is dirt. So, clean the shock up a little bit here. Again, this is my personal shock, but I still can't stand, or my personal truck, but I still can't stand working in dirt. This is our shock room. We try to keep it as clean as possible because you don't want dirt in your shocks. So, basically these are Schrader valves we put in. Just gonna check them. I've had these on for a year and uh, just kind of curious to see the weather's starting to get cold. We're about 10 below today. So this is when you want to check your shocks and make sure that they are where they're where they need to be. The harder you are going to use your truck, the more the shocks need to be at the pressure they're supposed to be at. Um, these are still holding. I literally haven't checked these since we put them on last year. They've got 200 pounds in them still, which is great. Um, if you do run into problems with a shock, most of the time, like on Gen 1s, it's because Basically, they lose nitrogen pressure first. And when you lose gas pressure in a shock, it starts to cavitate. And without getting into it, you can look up the cavitation or shock cavitation online if you're really curious. But you can run your shocks. But like if you're just driving your, your uh, truck on the highway all the time and it's a smooth highway, your shocks can be a little bit low and it's not as not as big of a deal. They're not working as hard. If you're out in the field or if you're on rough roads or if you got potholes and that shock is, you know, when you're hitting hitting holes, this is this is a shock absorber. This is what's this is what is absorbing those. And if it doesn't have the proper gas pressure in there, it's not gonna function properly. Yes, it's gonna go in and out, but it's not gonna function properly. So the harder you or use this shock the more you can need to make sure that your gas pressure is set where it needs to be there's a lot of misinformation out there a lot of guys that think they know what they're talking about when it comes to shocks yes you can run these shocks lower and you can run your gen ones at 200 if you want to that is not the correct gas pressure the gen twos are 200 in the front 150 in the rear. If you have any questions, I can send you the literature from Fox that says that is the gas pressure. We here put 200 in both the front and the rear. Everybody says the same thing. Rides great, rides like new. Oh my God, I didn't know it was supposed to ride like this. On the Gen 1s, we put them at 250. This deal right here is base valve. There's probably a lot of people that don't know what that means. That's what allows you to run a lower gas pressure in your Gen 2s. These have a base valve in them, the Gen 1s do not. The other thing is on the Gen 1s, it says right on the build sheet. And then there's some people out there that have called Fox and asked them a general question about how much gas pressure goes in your shot on your in your truck shocks. And the average person answering the phone says 200 if you don't and that is correct in just about all Fox shocks 200 is what's on them. not the gen ones if you call Fox and ask Fox about a gen 1 Ford Raptor shock if they know what they're talking about they will say 250 I have the emails I have the build sheets the actual schematics that says on the Gen 1's 250 PSI plus or minus 10 pounds. That's what they're set at. That's why when you buy a new shock, that's what they're set at. But some of the people that rebuild these think that they're only supposed to be at 200. And that's the difference between us and them. So, um, this has just been leaking here a little bit. My gauge has got a little leak in it. Um, so it leaked down to like 190. I'm just gonna sleeve the button down here, get it to 200, take it off. And how you set shocks, you can set these 
um, on the truck, on the ground, but they're gonna read high. You set the gas pressure with the shock fully extended or as extended as far as, as you can extend it. So again, these Schrader valves are holding up nicely. They're not leaking. Um, and the other reason I was gonna say, the reason I check them going into the cold season is that's when your shocks are gonna, that's just like the tires on your truck. You, when does your, when do your tires leak on your truck? When it's really cold. Same thing with shocks. You lose in cold weather, the, the, the pressure goes down in everything. So going into the cold season, you wanna make sure that they're, they're topped off and ready to go at the proper gas pressure.